Hey Camp Woodland, it's Claire. Um, I'm gonna teach you guys uh, how to do a couple knots. I'm doing four knots today. You all got some um, rope in your camp in a box. Unfortunately, I don't have rope here with me, so I'm using a shoelace, which is also a great method of tying your knots as well. So the first one I'm gonna do is a slip knot. Um, what's fun about slip knots is, so you um, twist your rope, and then you pull an end through the rope, and then when you pull again, it slips away. And these we use for like tying the um, cockpit covers onto boats and stuff. They're super fun. You can also make like chains of them, you know? Um, so the next one I'm gonna do is, I'll do a figure eight knot. I like this knot because it has a story with it. Um, so what you do is you make an alien head. So basically you um, make a loop with the um, rope, but you don't twist it. And then you take the longer end on the shorter end, it doesn't really matter. And you make a full 360 around your alien head. So you choke the alien. And then once you get to that step, you poke the alien in the eye, just like that. And then when you pull, mine is gonna look a little wonky because once again, I'm using a shoelace, but yours is gonna look great. So it turns into that, which is a figure eight knot. Do you see the little eight? Great. Next we're going to do a square knot. So I love square knots because once you know how to do them, you won't forget. So the pattern is right over left, left over right. So take the right end of your rope, cross it over the left, and then you kind of cross them as if they're about to, like you're about to tie your shoes, you know, like with your little bunny ears. And then you take the left side, cross it over the right, and twist. And then you have a little square, see? Lastly, this is actually my favorite knot and it comes in handy in so many ways. It can actually save your life. Some of our advanced sailors know how to do it one-handed, which is super fun. And um, so what you do is, so I like to put my, um, <laughs> I like to put the rope, like I let it drop over my hand and then with my other hand, I turn my wrist away from me like this and I take my rope and then I twist it so that it makes a little loop like that. And then what I do, so this one also has a little story. So this is the bunny, this end of the rope. It's the end that's like drooping down past your hand. So the bunny goes up the hole, the hole that you just made. So like that. And then it goes, so the part of the rope that's like um, drooping over the uh, like the other side of your hand, that's the tree. So the bunny goes up the hole and then around the tree and then back through the hole. And then when you pull, you pull the bunny and you pull the tree and it should create a bowlin. And if you know, so what you know if you've made a bowlin is bowlins tend to go around things. So it can go around your body. It can go around the, um, like, I don't know, a, um, we use them to put them on the um, main sheet to hold the main sheet onto the boat, things like that. So um, they come in a lot of hand, you know, a lot of different situations and they'll never break. That's the one knot that will never, ever break. And the way you know that you did it right is um, it looks kind of like a life jacket. So like our canoeing life jackets, the orange ones that go around your head and you strap around, that's what it looks like. So what used to be the tree, that's like your little guy, I guess. And then, um, I don't know if you can see it. You go, there's like a little part that goes around that tree and then there's a part that goes across it. And that's a bowling. So those are my four knots. I hope you enjoyed, hope you had fun. Um, Keep exploring your camp in the box and we can't just wait to see you in 2021.